Hello, welcome to Ludic Science. Today I will show you this mechanical contraption, which is Leonardo da Vinci's catapult. As you may know, catapults were used in war in ancient times. They have a large destructive capacity because they were able to throw large rocks or metal balls at large distances. The catapult was used since uh, the 4th century, approximately, and there were many different designs that were improved during time. This particular version is that of Da Vinci, and here I will show you my little version. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. The principle of operation is very simple. You put a heavy object here and move it in this way. And here we have a spring. This was originally made also of wood, but I am using a piece of, of metal wire. Now the spring exerts a force on this element, but now it doesn't move from this position because of this mechanism here. We have a ratchet and pole mechanism. Now when we release the mechanism, this is what happens. The rock or the metal ball that you had here is thrown at a large distance. Let me show you the details of the construction. As you can see, we have a wooden frame. In the real versions, uh, wheels, wooden wheels were used in each of the corners in order to move the catapult to the side where it was needed. Okay, now we have here this wooden piece that has a ratchet mechanism. I have used a set of nails, eight nails. Of course, these were also made of wood in the original versions, but it was easier for me just to use nails. And uh, this is a ratchet and pole mechanism. When you move the lever to the left, you can see how this this, the pole prevents all the, the lever from moving to the right. You continue to rotate and then it stops again. When you release the pole, then the action takes place because of the spring, which it was also made of wood. Everything was made of wood. And I also have a, there is a stop here in order to prevent the lever from moving too far because it only needs to move to the vertical position where the projectile is fired. Okay, I will use a marble as a projectile. It goes here and then it is ready to fire. When we release the pole, and there it is.
So there you have it, Leonardo da Vinci's catapult. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for your visit and see you in the next one.